Welcome back to Shavano Outdoors YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to show you four pieces of gear that is not backpacking gear but I really love to use. The first piece of not backpacking gear gear that I love to use and that I even take on backpacking trips is going to be a military shemog. And what this is is just a three by three piece of cotton. It's like a gigantic bandana. They come in all sorts of colors. I really like this American flag one, but there's a ton of uses for this. Um, if you fold it in a triangle like this, and then kind of fold it over in half one more time, and then tie the other two pieces together, you can use it as a makeshift sling for your arm. If you get injured out in the wilderness, you can use it to pre-filter water to get some big chunks of sand and sediment out. Um, you can cut pieces of it into strips and wrap around sticks and use it for a torch. There's endless uses. And then the famous one is you can wrap it around your head to help conceal you or help keep your face warm during cold weather. Something sort of like this, that keep your face nice and warm and then also if it's dusty, it'll help keep that out of your face. Those are just a few uses of how you can use this piece of gear. Um, if you want to know more uses, let me know down in the comments and I can do a whole video on how to use this. One of my next favorite pieces of gear that is for not backpacking is going to be this Yuko Candle Lantern. I absolutely love using this thing when I do like bushcraft camping or hammock camps. It's just nice to have like a little ambiance at night, but it's super compact with this chain and then you pull it up here and there's a piece of glass and then you can slide that down. And it's just got a candle down on the inside there. And then you can take a lighter or matches or whatever and light that wick. I don't know if you can see it on camera. And then slide up the, there. This is also something that I take if I ever go caving. Um, you can put a plastic trash bag over you and then kind of crouch down with this underneath if you get hypothermic and it can help warm you back up even though it's just a small candle. But yeah, this just provides some nice light at nighttime if you don't want to use a headlamp. All right, so the third piece of gear that I like to use, and I say like to use, I just got this recently and haven't used it yet, but I know I will like using it, but it's this spice kit from Ruck and River. It's made out of genuine leather. Uh, it smells so good. I love the smell of leather, but it's just got these two snaps here. You unbuckle it, and then it's got these six jars inside that you can fill with spices. So you can just take this and open it up, and then inside you've got these nice glass bottles and they've just got these little corks on top and they're actually a pretty good size to carry some spices in so I've just got some cinnamon, got some salt, onion powder, paprika, Italian seasoning, and then crushed black pepper. These are like six spices that I pretty much use for every single um, savory recipe that I make even at home. These are my go-to spices for everything. All right, and last but not least, my fourth other item that I love using is going to be my ham radio. Now, in this little pouch here, this is a Molly pouch, so it's got these two Velcro straps on here. Um, but anyway, so in here, I've just got this extra long antenna. It gets a better range with that. So that's just on my cheap Chinese um, Baofeng ham radio, but this thing works really well. I love it. And then I've got the stock antenna that comes with it. And then I also have in here, I've got the um, frequencies and the um, offset keys and stuff for the repeaters and antennas in the area. And then this is just a waterproof notebook so I can um, write any notes down if I need anything. So like during severe weather, I can go on there and monitor it. And I've just got different notes and stuff that I can take in here, different call signs that I've talked to. And then, yeah just anything else I may need in there. All right guys, that's all I've got for you today. It was just a short video, but I hope you enjoyed those four pieces of non-traditional backpacking gear. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share it with everybody. It really helps this channel grow and I appreciate it. And until next time, stay in the wild.